Hi, and welcome to Z-Tech News. This is Season 1, Episode 12. And uh, today we're going to be talking about keep your PC slash build slash rig clean. There's been way too many times I've seen machines come into our store that are just filthy with dust. And people wonder why, well, it's not working anymore. Well, duh, clean the thing out. But before that, I'd like to talk about a few things. Um, so some more news relating to the GTX, or sorry, the RTX 2080 and the 2080 Ti. So right now at the store, we're getting drips and drabs of the 2080s coming in. The Ti's were supposed to come in on the 27th, and we've seen nothing yet. We've had two shipments yesterday, and there was nothing in there. Now... Don't think it's a reason that everybody's buying them and they're out of stock. From what we heard is that because of the problems with the typhoons down in Taiwan and in Hong Kong, um, items and stuff and stock and what have you is having a tough time getting out of there. Uh, everything's backed up. Everything's a big mess. So things are going to take some time to get there. So don't think, you know, people are throwing down thousands of dollars for these cards. It's just they're not here yet it's taking a lot of time and you know whatever comes in it's just small tiny trickle amounts uh to be quite honest with you i won't see uh, i don't think we'll see more uh much more come in until like mid-october late october until the whole logistics of the weather and everything gets settled out so that's the thing um, another thing, another story that I've been noticing lately at the store is that people are pouncing on the 1080 Ti's. There's been calls every two minutes. Do you have any 1080 Ti's? 1080 Ti's, 1080 Ti's. And we're sold out right now. And again, we're waiting for those to come in. Now we got tons of 1050's, 1060's, not so much 1070's, but 1050's and 1060's, the uh, mid to low. And mid-range cards, there's a ton of them come. There's a ton of them, so we must be having a sale soon about them. I mean, we're just running out of places where to put this stuff. But the 1080 Ti's, because of the rumor, or not so much the rumor, but all the benchmarks and everything that have been going on, is that it seems like the you know the the, 10, the 2080 and the 1080 Ti can trade punches very easily. So go with the cheaper one. And there's some really good sales on the t uh, 1080 Ti's. So people are jumping all over them. Uh, even if you don't want to get the, the TI, you can always get the 1080. But if you want the ultimate and it's at, they're at good prices right now, jump on the 1080 TI. Anyway, okay, off to keeping your machine clean. Okay, the number one problem, the number one problem that it has to do with computers these days, and it's been always the case, is that any type of electronics and dust not good friends they don't mesh they don't like each other whatsoever especially now with modern mach machines where they need fans to cool the pc both the cpu and the case these things are just magnets for dust okay forget about you know the negative pressure and what have you with the machine you will always get dust in the machine no matter what it always will happen the number one thing is clean well number one thing is stop putting your machine on the floor if you don't have space and you need to put it on the floor expect to be cleaning your machine at least once every two three months okay because with the fans the thing is practically a vacuum so somebody walks by or if you shovel your feet by your desk you are raising dust and the machine will just suck it right in like it's no tomorrow so make sure you clean that very often if you do have space on your desk move the bloody thing on the desk keep it there it's easier to clean i mean you can wipe down the desk make sure there's no dust there and it reduces the amount of dust that it pulls in because it's not on the bloody carpet it's not bringing stuff in it's on a desk another thing to uh to uh, to keep sort of regular maintenance yeah you know yeah, I'm, I might be a little anal about it, but I like to have a clean machine. Hell, I like to clean, have a clean house. But what you need to do is you got to get your vacuum cleaner and vacuum all the uh, the vents on the machine. So the top vents, 
especially the front vents where it's sucking in air into the machine. Especially with modern cases, they do have dust filters. So those dust filters, the dust majority of it sits on the filter. So if you run a vacuum down, up and down in front of your case, it just pulls out, it sucks out all the dust and done. You don't have to worry about anything. If you, if you don't open up the machine and you use your compressed air and you blow it all over the machine, you're forcing more dust into the machine, okay? Now, the good thing about it is, is that the exhaust port, the fan at the rear, will bring some, will kick out some of the dust, but the thing is, it will collect and stick on the fan, so you don't want that. Second of all, or third of all, once a year, yes, once a year, open up the machine and start dusting it. Spray it out with, uh, again, oxygen, you know, this stuff is dirt cheap. Or, if you want to be proactive, get one of the ones that plug in. Uh, the plug-in ones, I think, are around $30 or $25. And they push out a lot of air, so you don't have to keep on buying these all the time. And just clean out the system. And also, take a little bit of a, take a Q-tip, uh, damp it a little bit with, with, some, with some water, and just run it along the fan blades. Because dust collects on those fan blades like there's no tomorrow. So by cleaning that off, you'll uh, you'll a you'll have better performance on your fans. B, uh, it won't be you know chunks of dust won't be flying off off the uh, off the fan and you know caking your system. It's just it's amazing what I see that comes into into the uh, into the store. Just the amount of dust and the amount of crap on it, and it's like you know. Just think about it. If your machine's not working, okay, you're having problems with it, don't start thinking, oh, it's my drivers or whatever. Look at the machine. Just take a look at it. How much dust is there in there? If there's a ton of dust and your machine's overheating and causing it to crash, clean it out. Simple. Once you clean it out, boom, brand new machine. No need to buy a new machine, no nothing. Just clean it out. Be proactive and clean that bloody machine. You'll thank me a hundred percent it takes no time it takes nothing to you know there's nothing to uh to stress over like i mean it's not i don't know what i'm trying to say but the thing is just clean the bloody thing and it's important that you do it dust and uh and pcs and motherboards and graphics cards don't like each other no they don't like each other it doesn't work too many problems come out of that so keep it clean Keep it, uh, keep it looking good. And uh, that's it. This is a simple and quick uh, Z-Tech news. Uh, this is episode uh, 12. Please follow me on Twitter, news, uh, news Z -t at News Z-Tech, and uh, subscribe by clicking below. That's about it. Take care, everyone.